to our reading today is from Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 9. Only be careful and watch yourselves closely so that you do not forget the things your eyes have seen or let them fade from your heart as long as you live. Teach them to your children and to their children after them. Familiar words, I think, for many of us, this reading from Deuteronomy 4, you may recognise that do not forget. In the good old King James Version, it's rendered this, lest thou forget, lest we forget. This idea of not forgetting, of remembering then, is biblical, it's rooted in our biblical story. And if you, if you do a search on a digital Bible of the words remember or not forget, then you find countless examples throughout all of Scripture because remembering and not forgetting are key themes throughout all of God's Word. And I'm going to encourage you today that I think there is a difference. Often we can remember things when we're reminded of them. Oh, I really should do that. I have remembered it. And then we go away and forget. Here's an example. Uh, I, in our old flat, we had an electric hob, uh, and it had great hot plates on the top, but there was no warning light to tell you that they were on, and I consistently kept forgetting that they were on. If you ask me, Chris, what do you do when you finish cooking on the, on the cooker? I would tell you, you turn off the hot plates, because it's dangerous otherwise. But time and time and time again, We'd, I'd hear from Sarah, why are the hobs still on? Or I'd come back into that smell of burning plastic that lets you know that you've left a container on something far, far too hot. I was remembering, of course I remembered that you turn off the hobs, it's dangerous not to, but every time, or not every time, but many times, I kept forgetting in the practice. The challenge we always have when we are on days like this is we're very good at remembering today but how do we make sure that we don't forget tomorrow? I developed a little ritual to help me not forget. It might seem very pedantic, but that meant that after a lot of frustration, I realised the only way I could not forget was to go to each and every knob on the hob, turn it on to off, make sure each one was on off twice before I left the cooker, because then I would know that it was right then I would know that it was definitely off, that I had remembered well. So my question this morning is, what what other things can we do to help us remember well? So what do you do? Give me some ideas. What do people do to remember things well? Keep a diary. diary. Post-it notes. Post-it notes. Anybody got any others? Anybody still tie knots in handkerchiefs? Am I showing my age? I'm a bit concerned now. Anybody do anything else? Oh, what's the... Do you write... Oh, you remember on your finger? Little star. Oh, you put a little star. That's, why, that's really lovely. Uh, actually, my wife, Sarah, she puts, sometimes puts a little heart on um, my son's arm when he goes into nursery so he remembers that she loves him. It's really cute. and he really, I know, it's sweet, isn't it? We all find these little ways, don't we, of remembering day-to-day things, shopping lists, so we go out so we don't forget that really important thing, which I often do when you go and you come home and you think, oh. But how are we at remembering the big things, the important things? How, remembering how we should live our lives differently in the light of all that has gone before us, in the light of what we remember today, of the sacrifice of men and women in wars and conflicts around the world and that continues on to this day. How are we about remembering other things? How are we about remembering the things that the Bible encourages us to remember? The legacy of God's saving work in humanity throughout all time. Because we have little ways of remembering those too, don't we? We have these things, these practices passed down over time to help us remember those too. We have communion. This is what Paul says about communion. For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Paul is telling people to remember 
by doing the thing that Jesus told them to remember him. Isn't it? That becomes our way of remembering. And we do this on Sundays and we do this where we are. But the challenge that we have is to think about how we can remember uh, the sacrifice that people make, the work of Jesus in the world, each and every day. But what is it that we're trying to remember? Are we just trying to remember how great those people are, how great Jesus is, how great uh, the sacrifice that people have made for us is? No, it's more than that. We heard read for us, if you were with us up at the Cenotaph, these words, when you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrows, these gave their today. We're encouraged to live our tomorrows differently in the light of what has gone before. We're encouraged to live our tomorrows in ways that builds and makes for peace, to make a more peaceful world. That's a biblical vision too. When, if you read to the right to the end of the Bible, right at the end in uh, the book of Revelation, there's this description of uh, what God will do at the end. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. That is the vision of the world that we are to be living towards, not just on Sundays, not just when we remember in communion. We are encouraged to not forget that each and every day. So my encouragement to you today, my challenge to you today, as we think and we remember what has happened in the past, the sacrifices that have been made on our behalf, how will we remember tomorrow and the next day and the day after? What things can we remember when the poppies aren't there to remind us? How can we live as if we remind ourselves daily for your tomorrows these gave there today? Let's stand and we will sing our next hymn together. And as the band come up, let me pray for us. Lord, you encourage us to remember the actions and acts of those who have gone before and for that to change how we live our lives today, Lord. Help us to be reminded of what you have done for us each and every day, that we might live lives that build for peace in this world, to build for the good of all mankind, that all creation might live in comfort and peace, and to the glory of your name. Amen. Let's sing together.